All right, shalom, brothers and sisters. And speaking on the wisdom of the Egypts that Moses was learned in, we, we can't um, neglect to actually warn you about the counterfeit, right? Such as when we see these kind of counterfeit eyes. And who is responsible? It's uh, Alistair Crowley, right? They call it the Eye of Horus. You see, because this is part of the witchcraft. They make a lot of folks who really don't know believe that the eye in the triangle that he has up there is the alleged eye of Horus. Now, first of all, they give you misinterpretation and misdirection after misdirection. Now, I was meditating on this, and I said, oh, wow, that's interesting, because he spoke to some demonic entities. And the reason why this new age ism like you gotta really be aware of this new age it is a new age but what they're trying to do basically you ever heard of a hostile takeover right a hostile takeover to make people believe almost like in this whole illuminati thing that they are the illuminati they are the real enlightened ones right as they try to make people believe that they're really the egyptians Remember, a lot of folks still believe that the Egyptians were white folks, even when they're looking at brown and, and red and black-skinned people, they still believe that. It's because of this individual. This individual, is, is, he, he's known as the beast on a certain level, right? But definitely the wickedest one, the wickedest men, right? And this is some of his other pictures and no doubt you've seen a lot and maybe you've, you know done your own study and if you haven't done your own study you need to do your own study it's because of ones like this that there is so much misdirection regarding egyptology right even the whole zeitgeist movement really is picking up where he left off right where he left off there's some um key um tell signs what well, they knew is that they knew that a black awakening, this is part of Alistair Crowley and COINTELPRO are uh, basically one and the same. They're basically bedfellows because they have the same um, strategic goal to stop the rise of the black messiah. So a lot of these so-called artists out there, whether they're conscious of this or not, and other so-called human shields, you know, a lot of the black so-called artists or whatever that you say are down or politician they are human shields right so when you find out what's going on you say well there's some black people down with it and, and it'll make you believe it's the audacity of hope syndrome right the audacity of hope syndrome right so this this is something interesting this is um the world's uh history in prophetic symbols uh, i haven't seen that before but it's concerning the beast, right, of Daniel chapter 7. Before we get into all of that, right, and it's some, it's, it seems like a very interesting, perhaps even accurate right there, right, of Babylon, the harlot, so forth and so on, right? But, of course, what they neglect is the half of the story. They neglect the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, right? But let's just touch on Alistair Crowley, and his Egyptology. You know, when we hear folks saying, well, the eye in the triangle is the eye of Horus or the eye of Ra, they really don't know what they're talking about. But that's, they're referring to people like this, known wicked people and known liars, right? They were sent to basically stop the rise, to put out a, a false consciousness, a pseudo consciousness. It's like when they call it, get out ahead of the story. And it was get out ahead of the resurrection, right, or the regeneration, the redemption, by putting out a pseudo-spirituality, a counterfeit spirituality, right, a make-believe. But we know that his true master is, is, is papal Rome because that goes back, that symbol actually is older than Aleister Crowley. It is actually papal. Right, therefore, we're getting into Revelation and we're getting into the Hebrew scriptures and we're getting into the half of the story that hasn't been told. It's like this right here, where many people don't really see the big picture. Right, what's the big, what's the big picture on this? The big picture on this is that that's the Holy See, I, right, C I A, 
right? That's the Holy Ci, right? The Holy See, in other words, the um, Rome. That represents Rome. Now, it's very clear what Revelation, Revelation reveals the truth. John the Revelator already warned us, right? And see, there's a lot of confusion around this because, of course, it's mystery Babylon. It's intended to be that way, right? But we can come out of confusion, right? We can come out of Babylon if we be born again, right, in the true and living Yeshua HaMoshiach, the Moshiach, right, Yeshua and his word, the engrafted word. Now, just touching on this right here, a new coeptus, nuvos ordo seclorum, right, a new announcing the birth of a new age, a secular age, right? And the father of that is this guy here, this guy here, Alistair Crowley, right? Alistair Crowley, right? And they're responsible, or he's really responsible for this fake Egyptian eye in a triangle. All of this is, all of this is a modern, a modern perversion, Right, uh, kind of a jacking. It's like what they've done with music and other things that in ancient times was black, right, or African or Ethiopian, right, and what they've done is jack these things. So Satan is not truly a creator. He's a wreck creator. That's why wreck creation is so popular because they're seeking to wreck your creation. I mean, look at this. Boy, good. Right, look at this. It's a sick, demented mind. You know what I'm saying? And these sick, demented minds are responsible for the counterfeit Egyptology out there. Right? The counterfeit Egyptology. And unfortunately a lot of um a lot of Afrocentric teachers have believed some of the lies, some have believed more of the lies of sick freaks like this. Right? Demon possessed individuals whose sole purpose was a spiritual COINTELPRO, right? His sole purpose was a spiritual, a full spectrum, full spectrum. You know, I mean, we're speaking about full spectrum, not just in spirituality and new ageism, but we're speaking about in politics. We're speaking about, that's why everything seems like it's, it's, it's confused. Nothing seems to be um Nothing, see, everything seemed to be upside down. And, and, and see, he was prior to the 60s. The 60s basically was the, the birth of the weeds. You know, I, as the Moshia said, let the wheat and the tears grow together, right, until the harvest. And now, my brothers and sisters, we're coming, you know, we're coming into harvest time. Just a couple of words I thought I would share with you. Right, and a warning as well. Like, beware of the Alistair Crowley, right? The Alistair Crowley Egyptology, right? It's a lie. The Alistair Crowley Egyptology, just to put a cap on this right here, let me just show you one very popular image. We, we touched on the, the eye in the triangle. Now, there's the popular misconception to believe everything. Is this an Egyptian eye? Some people will lead you to believe that. We've already done a, a kind of a, a part one, really getting into the real Egyptian eye, but most of them have not studied for themselves, so that it's easy for them to make believe. All these are counterfeits. All these are counterfeits. This is a true Egyptian eye right here, and this over here is a counterfeit. How do we know? Well, when we look at original ancient Egyptian art and facts, the artifacts will see it. It's like this right here. That's a counterfeit. You see, you see what they did? They, they've counterfeited our ancient culture in order to keep us in a spiritual, mental, psychical lockdown. So we have to study and know the truth for ourselves. Shalom Rastafari. I will be seeing you.